So I'm here at the 2018 Miami International Auto Show and right behind me is the 2019 Hyundai Elantra at the Hyundai exhibit and we're going to take a quick first look in a brand new segment that I like to call At A Glance. Hey guys, I'm here at the Hyundai exhibit and I'm here with Craig and he is the Hyundai team leader. So let's take a quick first look of the newly refreshed 2019 Hyundai Elantra. So tell me about the new exterior design updates. So mostly, most of the change from 18 to 19 is aesthetic. So they've changed the front uh, hood is completely different, the front fascia, new headlights. And also, as you go around to the rear of the vehicle, you're going to notice something very, very similar with a new hood, right. new taillights. So if you're familiar with what they did with the refresh of the previous Sonata lit facelift last year, it's very similar. So it's kind of making it look in the same family, but giving it some of its own distinct right. features. It has a lot more of a bold and angular look. It does. Look I mean, especially if you look, it still has that hexagonal grille that Hyundai's known for, but right. they're playing around with that shape a little bit. Rather than having a strict straight line here, they're giving it a little curve, right. making it a little sporty. This happens to be the sport model as well. And you can see just the, the shape of the headlights as opposed to the Elantra, which is the 18 one right behind it. You can right. compare the two. Uh, so that those are the main changes on the front. So as far as the engine goes, it's going to be the exact same engines all across Correct. the Elantra lineup yeah. as the pre-refresh yeah, model? Yeah, no, no, nothing's changed engine-wise. One of the other big changes is the Hyundai Smart Sense, which are a suite of safety features, which now comes in almost at the base level, our SEL level and on up. Uh, so again, we're competing with a lot of other people out there offering more of those safety features at, at a, a much lower, lower price. price point. So right. that price point has changed very little, but we're offering a lot more for that uh, money than we did the previous model year. Right. So the pricing is relatively unchanged. Yeah, a mean, slight increase, but for the most part. $200 difference. Right. If you look at the SEL from last year, I think it was $18,500. It's now $19,100. So a very, very slight change. Right. And the wheels also have been updated. This is the top of the line limited trim level. And they're definitely going to slightly different rim design. These are, I believe, the exact same size as the previous models. They though. Are, so definitely they look Just pretty neat style. there. Mm -hmm. And the overall side profile is the same as well. <laughs> but once you come to the back, it's a lot different, right? Yeah, so the tail lights you can see completely different design. Again, much, much more angular right here, especially with this shape compared with the previous uh, generation or the previous year. Right. And then the biggest change is in the badging itself. So the Elantra name is now spread apart, bigger letters, kind of like what we did on the Sonata. And the same thing as well, to open the back, we now have the soft touch point here. Okay. You press that. And it opens up, so it's latch. like a hidden little button. So I always say that the, the designers get their way and make things a little cleaner and hide that uh, right. latch rather than having a button. The only thing that you see here, of course, is the, is the reverse camera. camera. Mm -hmm. And the trunk space is obviously the same because it is. the overall Dimensions yeah. didn't change, it's just the Not overall yet. design. Nothing that changed. as far as the chassis or size of the vehicle has right. changed. Okay. Um, even the miles per gallon is the same. Is the same as well? Gallon. Okay, and the interior, let's look at the interior really quick. I almost sure. forgot. Yep. So, looking at the interior, definitely looks like it has been updated quite a bit, but not too drastically. I can see that you guys updated the air AC, AC vents there a little bit, as well as the center stack right there. The switch gear and all that stuff seems a little bit updated as well. And then just some of the well. touch point materials have changed a bit and been updated. Again, similar to what we did with uh, the Sonata model. You know, right. just bringing it up, uh, you know, refreshing and make it a little more up to date. And the steering wheel is also updated there too. It looks almost like the steering wheel found in the Elantra Sport. That's correct. All right, thank you. You're very welcome, right. Marcus. Thank you. Okay. All right, so there you have it, the newly refreshed 2019 Hyundai Elantra. So this is pretty much just a mid-cycle refresh. As we just saw, there's not too many differences um, in comparison to the previous model year. You are going to have slightly new exterior styling and a few interior tweaks, as well as safety technology standard at a lot cheaper price point. So all in all, the 2019 Hyundai Elantra definitely seems like it is going to attract a lot more buyers, especially 
those who didn't really feel like stepping up to the top of the line limited trim level in order to get all of those advanced safety technology. Now you can get those safety advancements on even the SEL trim level. So it's definitely a pretty generous update that Hyundai has added for the 2019 model year. But all in all, I'm definitely quite impressed by this vehicle. The styling is definitely quite polarizing. I'll definitely have to do a complete in-depth review of this vehicle and give you guys my complete and honest opinion about it. But at a first glance, it definitely seems like a pretty attractive looking vehicle. I really like the whole angular design that they're going for. And I feel like it might attract some new people to the vehicle, especially those who are looking for a bit more of a sporty and somewhat more of a polarizing and youthful vehicle. I definitely feel like this one has a little bit more of that factor going for it. But some of those people that tend to have a little bit more of a mundane type of taste when it does come to their vehicles may not be attracted to the Elantra's new very polarizing bold and in your face type of styling. Well, that's it for this first look. Comment and tell me what you like to see in future videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This is Marcus, and thanks for watching Drive and Be Driven. Keep it positive, and I'll see you next time. You can become a Drive and Be Driven driver today. Just simply click the subscribe button and you will become a part of the Drive and Be Driven circle. Subscribing will allow you to stay up to date with the Drive and Be Driven YouTube channel. Thank you to all of my current Drive and Be Driven drivers for driving me towards my goals and dreams. Stay subscribed for more awesome videos like this one.